So we have seen the official cabinet list. Most of them were what we expected, right? Yes, almost uh, ninety percent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there was some, including the person that we expressed our disbelief against <laughs> yesterday. Kun Surapong. Kun Surapong. So, Chaikun, Chaikun. The new foreign minister. Yes, uh, he himself was surprised. Yes, uh, he said that he expected to be a deputy finance minister. Yes. Uh, but then he, he was as surprised as anyone here in Thailand. He said he knew about the appointment only a few hours before the official yes. announcement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that means that whoever appointed him had not consulted him. Right. And like it or not, he has become the most controversial person on the list. Uh -huh. Even more controversial than Kun Chalem Yu Bam Lung mm -hmm. himself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, not least because he has no experience mm -hmm. in this field before. Mm -hmm. he, he, he used to work it in the uh, House Committee on Finance yes. mm -hmm. and uh, no experience at all on foreign affairs. Mm -hmm. uh, all we knew about him was that he was leading a protest against the British Embassy when Kun Thaksin has his visa revoked. Oh, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I heard uh, Kun Ying Lak, the Prime Minister, he, she was asked about, you know, why did you appoint uh, mm -hmm. Kun so, so Pong? Yes. And she said that because he had experience as a businessman, international business, mm -hmm. he was in a few committees, house committees, yes. not related to foreign affairs, but, you know, he has been a politician for a long time. Yes. Um, in his interview today, he said that he, he wants some. Uh, uh, he wants everyone to give him a chance to work <laughs> in this uh, in this new position mm -hmm. that he did not expect. Mm -hmm. uh, he said that he is here to work, not to bring the tax in home. Uh -huh. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's to what work. the uh, key statement today. That uh, I'm yes. not going to bring the tax in home. Yes, he, but then reporters ask him uh, whether about the passport. Yeah, about the uh, tax in passport uh, issue. And he said, "Let let me study it." <laughs> That's what his answer. Yeah. Yes. Uh, he, he didn't say that. He didn't say no. I'm mm, not going no. to uh, no, I didn't consider that. that. He he just said, let me study it. No. In fact, he said uh, something uh, more uh, striking than that. He said, it will depend on whether Kun Taksin has been fairly treated or not. He said. Right. That that is. <laughs> <laughs> so it's you know it, it is already quite clear that mm -hmm. Kun Surapong has been made foreign minister by someone who thinks that he can be of help to Kun Taksin. Yes, and he sort of followed the first step of Kun uh, Nopadon, the former foreign minister at the, mm -hmm. uh, the Thai uh, the Kun Taksin. Mm -hmm. Kun Nopadon used to be at the Democrat Party and then the, he defected to join uh, Kun Taksin and then he became the foreign, uh, foreign minister. Yes. And then uh, Kun Surapong followed the same uh, mm -hmm. uh, career path. Mm -hmm. He used mm -hmm. to be with the Democrat Party. That's right. And mm -hmm. then he defected to Kun Taksin. Mm -hmm. And now he's foreign minister. He's foreign minister. Uh -huh. So what's going to happen to him, uh, we really don't know. But I think the reaction from the foreign ministry officials are not too positive. Not too positive. Uh, from everywhere we check, they, they, mm -hmm. they, uh, at least a surprise. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a wow, this guy, we, did, we never believed it, it's mm -hmm. going to be him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, in fact, a lot of uh, foreign ministry officials were, once they heard that Kun Surapong was foreign minister last night, uh, they started checking, uh, Googling, 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 to find out who is this guy who is going mm -hmm. to be our boss at the mm -hmm. foreign ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, surprising to me because before this, there were rumors about at least two diplomats former ambassadors. Mm -hmm. One is the Thai ambassador to London. The other is the ex-Thai ambassador to Norway, Sweden. You know. mm -hmm. um, both of them uh, had experience. At least they would be known to the foreign ministry people. Right, but there's some theory concerning why it had to be him. Who, I mean, mm -hmm. Pong, uh, um, a lot of people in the political circle said that this is a hot seat cabinet uh -huh. post. Uh -huh. You have to deal with Kun Taksin. You have to deal with how to get Kun Taksin back as a government. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you have to deal with the Cambodian issue. Yes. It's also more or less involved Kun Taksin and mm -hmm. some some past uh, controversies mm -hmm. concerning mm -hmm. the uh, mm -hmm. People Power Party. Mm -hmm. So it's not a good position mm -hmm. to, be, to, to be taken by the outsiders. So that's why uh, Kun Surapong has to be named. 
because he is uh, familiar before, with uh, before the, because the outside they, they, they feel that this is too much I this see. is a hot potato seed I see mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but then Kun Surapong said that well you know the senior foreign ministry officials are capable people so they can help me yes uh, he is asking for help Mm -hmm. in his interview today mm -hmm. and he mm -hmm. said I give you a chance mm -hmm. so we will see because uh, we have to give him a chance now that he has been appointed to show whether the widespread suspicion that he has been put there because he will help to help Kun Tuck Sin get his passport back and somehow uh, pave the way for Tuck Sin return it's not fair to jump to conclusion right. we will just have to see whether Kun Surapong will actually do what a lot of people say he will have to do. And that is a big question for Prime Minister Yingla.